This hearing of the Disability Royal Commission has been long awaited. The pandemic delayed the inquiry travelling to Alice Springs for more than a year. Alice Springs can be regarded as the cradle of many important campaigns involving First Nations people, including First Nations people with disability. More than 25 witnesses will give evidence about the barriers they've faced accessing the National Disability Insurance Scheme and services in remote and very remote areas of Queensland, the Northern Territory and Western Australia. A wheelchair suitable for the suburbs of Sydney, Melbourne or Brisbane does not do well on the gravel of the outback of Australia. An estimated 66,000 First Nations people live with severe disability. About 37,000 are on the NDIS and 10% live in remote or very remote areas. The inquiry will look at issues around cultural understanding and the difficulties of distance. Using a pseudonym, Daisy from Tennant Creek told the hearing about problems with her wheelchair. It shows the armrest with those cracks and the tape on it. So that's the arm that you say is scratchy. Advocates are calling for a redesign of the NDIS. We would say the scheme has largely failed. Um, most First Nations people with disability, we're certainly aware of some cases where people are getting benefit from it, but generally speaking, there's still a very long way to go. The hearing runs until Friday with witnesses from Tennant Creek, West Arnhem Land, Fitzroy Crossing and Thursday Island. Representatives from the NDIS will appear on Thursday. In Alice Springs, Elizabeth Wright, ABC News.